Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and you join me here once again in Computer Tycoon, my latest episode following the release of the Managers and Offices update. A major and significant, which I kind of suppose is what major means, a significant update to the existing game, adding a whole new slew of gameplay options and features and trips for those of us unwary enough to not take care in what we're doing. I wanted to start on this screen because, well, because I'm ahead. I'm in charge of the world, well, not in charge of the entire world, but I've got the biggest chunk of it. Oh, yes, I'm this very dominant and very sort of assertive and self-assured green chap here, which I should say, actually, I think following my first episode, I did say I have no idea if the, if all of these people are real characters or represent real characters in computing history. Uh, one of my lovely viewers did comment, unfortunately you had a very long complicated name which was probably unpronounceable, certainly I'm afraid for me, but you know who you are and thank you for this, so told me that this guy here represents or, yeah represents, that's a good word, uh, Paul Allen who was the co-founder of Microsoft with Bill Gates. Uh, unfortunately, he, he left the company after some a few years, after the thing had got off the ground, uh, due to health problems and sadly passed away uh, quite early in, in his life. He was a significant figure in the development of one of our major current computer companies. So Paul Allen, I think. So yes, it's an honour to be playing with his avatar in this game. Now, if you've seen any of my previous series, you will know that this happens fairly often, that I take an early lead in the dominance chart here, and then I get carried away, and about four or five episodes in, I get too overconfident, and everything goes wrong, and I end up hurtling towards bankruptcy, and then I require the assistance of Andrew Ash, the developer of this fine game, to offer sensible advice and say, don't do that, do this, because you're being a fool. And yeah, it's just me not paying attention to all the information the game is telling me. So yeah, hopefully you won't make that mistake because you'll see me making any errors and uh, yeah, <laughs> avoid them yourself. Anyway, let's crack on with what we're doing today. We're currently one year into the game. It's the January 1975. We only have a, a fairly small market. We want to uh, enlarge on that. So what I've set in motion is on my buildings list here, I am building up uh, the number of offices I've got, uh, well, the, the level of my office, which means I can level up my logistics offices to level two, which gives me another three or four logistics points, which would be handy so I can go into bigger markets. I also want to increase, or actually start building, if we go into Peru here, these recreation buildings here, which will allow me to upgrade my factories to a larger level so I can actually then supply all the extra com countries that I need to go into with computers Your and make loads more money. Completed. Splendid. So I'll build level two of that. And I think to upgrade my factory to level three, yeah, I need a level three recreation center. So that's going to take a little while to come through. Uh, do I want to go to level three logistics? That will cost me... Uh, actually, I've got a manager here running my logistics office in Peru. Yeah, we're in Peru. Yeah, you can see him here. That's uh, Mr. Mysterioso. So he's, he's given me a jolly good bonus on logistics. So if we see this, if we sort uh, logistics here. There we go. So I've a level two here and also in India, which is a poverty country as well. But if I level up, oh, it's not showing me here. The uh, oh, hang, no, it does. It does. It shows me here. If I level up uh, Peru, my Peruvian logistics office, I'll get 14 logistics points. You can just, it's very small text. Hopefully, you can make that out because of my manager's bonus. Whereas, if I upgrade my one in India, where I have no logistics manager, if I upgrade that one to level three, I'll only get an extra eight logistics points. So that is well worth that extra 200,000. I'm going to need to do that, but I need to level up that office, I think. Yep, I do. So that needs to be a level three office, which actually reduces the cost again of the building because I get an extra 10% discount on my daily costs. 
Okay, uh, what I've done in the marketing for my current machine is if I increased it from small to medium, just to get a few more customers, if I increase that again to big, Oh yeah, I'll get another increase in customers, another 100,000 people. It's a bit less than that, to be honest, but I like a big round number. So I'm earning a million dollars a day. Oh, hang on, hang on, things are happening. Uh, right, so if we go to our little notification panel down here, we can see that Mozambique has become a communist country, which is what it did. So this is the historical map, if you weren't with me at the beginning, this is the historical map. So these sort of regime changes will happen throughout the years. So in time, towards the end of the 70s, I think it is, China opens up, remains communist, obviously. China becomes a, a more open country. Uh, and over time, Eastern Europe opens up as well as the USSR falls apart and lots of new countries turn up. Uh, but yeah, between now and then, a couple of countries will become communist, which means any investment I've made in them either to sell my computers through logistics points or a site, if I built a site in Mozambique, I will have lost that investment. Because that's what communist governments do. They just take it away from you because it belongs to the people. Uh, right, so what I need to do... Uh, yeah, well, my office upgrade in Ireland has been done. So what can I do in Ireland? Uh, I, I can build a level two logistics office, which will give me another few logistics points. That's good. Uh, I'm not going to increase the level of my research lab there. Not just yet. I can probably afford it, but I don't need to do it just yet. I'm waiting on the research for VLSI to come through, which shouldn't be too long now. Your and then building I'm... upgrade has completed. Thank you. Uh, then I'll get into the sound chip, the compositor chip, which again gives me lots of nice bonuses. And then we'll look at building a new computer, because we are still way ahead of our competition. Who's who's the closest to me, actually? Uh, Afari, Forsha, and Brutal. Yeah. Oh, well, in, slightly interesting here, actually, as well, is that I'm now playing eight competitors. Usually, if you've, again, if you've seen my previous series for the game, I tended to cut a few of these people out, so I was only playing against six or so, five or six other AI companies. But playing against more, I'm thinking, could that be good for me? because they are competing, obviously, not just against me, but against each other. So there's more competition for all these other people to scrabble around finding customers. Yeah, in my wake at the moment, at least. Anyway, uh, so where are we? What was that? Oh, my office. Oh, so, so many things going on. My offices are upgrading. So I have a level three office in Peru. So, oh, yeah, the daily cost has now gone down to 175. So if we can build that, that'll give me loads more logistics points which means I can then move towards increasing this factory to level three. But I need one more recreation level before we can do that. That is good. Oh, I should have said this at the beginning as well. Uh, it happened early on. Each year that passes, uh, your managers will level up. They'll get another point to add to their skill. Uh, in fact, I've got one point left for me. And Gabriel has one point left as well, which I'll assign in a moment. Uh, the, the office indicator up here does tell you that. If you click on the... Don't click. You just hover over. It says you, the office size will increase in these years. Uh, so if I hover over it again, yeah. Uh, the office will, I think, will change look in 1978. But in 1985, I'll have room for another person. But between now and then... I will actually get an increase in the skills of my existing managers, which is very nice. So I will want another skill for me. Um, I think I'm going to focus still on charisma. So I need to be, I need that to hire new managers. So that's me done. And my researcher here, Gabriel, I could simply increase that. But the research six is good, actually. What I could do, what might be useful, is increase his loyalty. Because an increase in loyalty means he won't ask for as much of an increase in salary every year. So that should save me a few pennies next year, hopefully. Okay, uh, Mr. Mysterioso. Uh, Carlos. Yeah, sorry, I forgot your first name. Yeah, he's not uh, got a new point yet because he hasn't been with us quite long enough. He was quite new to the company. We have buildings we can upgrade yet. Uh, we've got that 
uh, we need that logistics building to finish and then I can go into more countries. I'm 36% of the market. This is awesome. Your building upgrade has completed. Excellent. So I've now got 2.2 logistics points available to me. Yeah, I was running there with a negative, as you may well have seen, which implies, which meant that I actually got a penalty. I was being charged money. In fact, the budget will show that, won't it? So if we go to our budget panel here. Uh, so 95, uh, a logistics penalty. So far, it's only February, of good grief, of 1.6 million. But that, that's, yeah, that's, that's in that month. Uh, that we've been running in 1975. So that adds up over time. So where can we go? Mock markets. Let's go to an unused place, which isn't a closed market. Uh, well, we won't sell into the poorest people anymore. I want somewhere fairly substantial uh, and also quite rich. The USA we've spoken about before, I think it's too, just a bit too big at the moment. Marketing costs there would be high. France is quite good. They've got a fairly high tax rate though. Actually the Netherlands might be good but it looks like <laughs> all these countries have coloured boxes around them. So yeah it means that uh, the, the com my competition has moved in there already. Uh, so, uh, oh Kuwait, that looks good. It's a low tax, it's not a huge country. But it's filthy rich, so let's put a point in there. Yeah, we've done that. So I've got one more point to spend. So I want to... Okay, let's go somewhere... Is there somewhere average that's quite large? Ooh, Guinea. You might... Or Greece. Your tax rate, Portugal... Yeah, I'm just looking at these tax rates here. Tax, I don't think, is a big thing at the very beginning of the game. Though, obviously, you want to have as low a tax rate as you can get in each of the countries you sell into. So you get most of the profit. But uh, if you're selling enough, the, the tax rate should be a marginal thing, I think. <laughs> that's, that, that's how I'm playing it anyway. I think, yeah, we, we can go into Greece, an average country. Yeah, we'll put a logistics point in there. Okay, and that leaves me with 0.2 logistics points. Okay, which is an odd and unfortunate number. But there you go. Have we got Greece and Kuwait? Where's Kuwait? You have researched Ooh, a new technology. I, we have. Right, so we've got Kuwait. That is now ours. We are, we've taken the brown company out. Who's the brown company? Uh, it does, does it tell me? It like, will tell me. I'm not going to worry about it because I don't really care. It's, as long as I'm in charge, I don't care who's, who's behind me. And yet yeah, we're, we're ahead in Greece as well. That is excellent. Okay, we have researched VLSI, which Your is building upgrade has completed. Awesome. Right, look at that. We've got our recreation centre upgrade and our logistics centre upgrade in Peru. So I've now got 7.4 logistics points to spend. Awesome. And it means I can now, I won't increase my factory just yet. Let's get out to more countries and just see what that does to the demand for my computers. Uh, I mean, the, the factory won't cost me any more when I build it, but I just want to save that money because I'm, I'm like that. Yeah, I've, I've had this uh, conversation in the past uh, on my previous series because I have a natural personal habit of not spending money. I like to accumulate money. Um, whereas in this game, it helps if you spend it. So I've been told off by Andrash a couple of times, previous series, don't hoard money, spend it. That's what it's there for. And I've got 190 million in the bank here. So I should be spending it. None of these countries are terribly big. So I think ooh, Chile. Chile is good. That is a low tax rate as well. Okay, let's go into Chile. There you go, we're in Chile. Um, Argentina. Again, relatively high tax rate, but the reseller cut is low. Let's go into Argentina as well. Okay. What does that do to the demand for my machines? Not a great deal, according to this. <laughs> the numbers have, have gone up a bit, but they're not huge yet. Okay, I'm making inroads in those two South American countries, but we've, we've not got big numbers yet. 
not got huge numbers yet, so let's go... Oh, I have got them now. That's cool. Turkey is quite a big country. Okay, let's go into Turkey. There you go. Yeah, we're getting yeah, an increase in demand here. This is splendid. Let's have a look at research. Is there anything in the queue here which has become a lot cheaper? Not particularly here. Uh, SCSI might be good. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's have a look at the research tree. Uh, modular computer design. Ah, there it is. Modular computer design. Uh, that will herald the era of PC computers. But before I can get into PCs, I do need to get CLI uh, and also the XT power standard technology uh, before I can actually create a new PC as opposed to a home computer, which is what we're building at the moment. So that, that doesn't give me anything in particular. It's just a technology you need to move forward in computer design. So we're not going to worry too much about that one just yet. Uh, SCSI, however. Now that could be useful. Where's that? Okay, so there's SCSI. Uh, and that will improve motherboards, removal media, storage. Yeah, we could go SCSI, actually. That might be useful. We'll add that to our queue. Um, we we may change the order of these things in research as we go through, seeing what our competition does. They've been fairly idle so far. Ooh, the 8-inch floppy disk drive. That's got a lot cheaper. Someone's discovered that. And ATA. We'll add those in. The floppy disk drive. Does that have any other... Uh, that be storage somewhere, won't it? Data management. There it is. Ah, okay, yeah, so we're going to need SCSI before we can get to the floppy disk drive. Okay. So maybe we'll increase, put uh, put the SCSI up further. I'm, because the floppy disk drive does give us a nice boost in performance as well. Okay, we may do that. Let's have a... No, I'm going to leave it like that for the time being. Well, I'm going to wait for the sound chip to complete and then we'll go and do some more research. But I want to go into another country. Where should we go? Mexico. Uh, you're relatively cheap. Yeah, we'll put uh, one in there. That's good. We're selling loads of computers, which is splendid. Could I increase my research? I probably could. Actually, let's find another rich country. Or let's find a rich country. I don't want that one. I want uh, that one. We're looking for... Uh, we're just looking for rich countries. There we go. Uh, in wealth order, another filthy rich country. We could. We're selling into Kuwait. So, yeah, we might as well put a... A research lab in there shall we so we'll build a site in q8 now it's going to cost us two million but that's that's a trifle against my current bank balance okay and here we are going to want to build a research lab build an office as well to help keep costs down we'll build a logistics office and also marketing excellent they will start coming out of the ground in this rather cute <laughs> arising from the earth animation. And that will increase my research team as well. It's oh, not too long now until I discover if I've found a new manager or not. We've got Mexico. Awesome. I'm now 39% of the global sales. I'm still earning now a million a day. Struth. But my factory capacity is still well up to managing that level of Your demand building upgrade has completed right so we're getting Your more building upgrade has completed thank you so we are Your getting building upgrade has completed <laughs> That's Your a building upgrade has completed shall i stop talking for a moment that, have you finished thank you she's lovely it's a great bit of voice work so 
congrats, well, kudos to uh, to Andrash and to for finding whoever provided the voiceover for for this. Uh, it's 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 very very nicely done. Uh, so yes, so we've now got more research points. We've got uh, more logistics points. Uh, where can we go next? Let's have a look on the market list. Uh, the UA Switz. Oh, we've not gone. To, oh, that's a very high tax regime there, though, isn't it? We're in Kuwait. Guinea. Well, we've not been to Guinea. That's average. But it's a very low tax rate, so why not go there? That's fine. You know, I don't want to go into any poverty wealth countries at the moment. I don't need to do that because I've, I've got enough money coming in. But then again, they're very big markets. Uh, Syria, Egypt, your poverty, Lib Libya. Libya, I think, is a dangerous place to go because that might turn communist. I can't remember what happened there. But uh, you get uh, Mauritania, Mali. Uh, some of these of African countries won't be poverty, will they? Uh, or will they? You have researched a new technology. Okay, we've now. Oh, Cambodia has become communist. Right. Yeah, that that was yeah that was an unpleasant situation there. From my memory of uh, world events. Okay, uh, where's where's Kenya? Where's Kenya? I really ought to know. Oh, uh, that's Malawi. Kenya is a, a really big and important country in Africa. Oh, is it one of these that changes name? Oh, this is embarrassing. I really ought to know <laughs> where Kenya is. Oh dear, I, I, I'm embarrassed now. Uh, Nigeria's poverty as well. Ooh. Are all these countries poverty stricken? Guinea we've got, which is average. Burkina Faso, Senegal. Mauritania is poor. Okay, we'll go into Mauritania. We've got three logistics points to spend, so we'll put that in there. Now, what have we got the sound chip done? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build some new components based upon uh, my existing ones. Um, oh, I've got all these <laughs> motherboards. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't need to keep them here. So, all I can do is archive. Uh, no, archive the oldest one because I don't need them anymore. They don't cost me money having them in the portfolio, but, you know, they're pointless. They just clutter up the screen. Okay, so the motherboard. We're going to copy that. This is going to be our first motherboard for 1975. So I will name it like that. And this is now... Oh, we've got BIOS. When did we discover BIOS? Did I not put that in my previous model? Oh, that was lax of me, wasn't it? Uh, hang on, hang on, no. Am I looking at the wrong one? Oh, this is in. Mm. I've, I've seen this before, uh, and it. it I, this, I don't know if it's me or just something in the game that's not entirely clear. That, yeah, I had that highlighted. Then I went to here or some. No, I didn't go there. Then I went to here and clicked archive, but it still remembered that one so I archived my newest model which I didn't want to do so that one archive I think it's a response to the clicking whether it's actually accepted or acknowledged that click on that particular item right, we're not going to archive it we're going to copy you that's better that has got bias I knew it had <laughs> so this is our first motherboard for 1975 we're going to add the sound chip we're going to add VLSI now VLSI is a great technology just like the uh, 10, 6, 3 nanomicron technologies, which I've got, we'll, we'll, we, will, we will have in the research queue, they reduce the cost of production. So currently, it's 50.62 production points it needs. If I put the VLSI in there, it goes down to 45.56. It's a nice deduction there. So it means I can actually make my motherboard better for the same price. So will we increase quality? Let's increase quality a little bit. There you are. That's good. We will create you. And I'll go through and create the other components that I can upgrade as a result of the research I've just completed. 
Okay, so we have improved, uh, created new hardware components for our motherboard, CPU, and our RAM memory. Uh, performance hasn't improved too much, but we have certainly reduced the cost of manufacture of each of these components slightly. And I've taken an opportunity there to s slightly tweak and improve the performance, but not by a significant amount generally. Uh, the, chair, the other one being the motherboard, we have a significant improvement, if we take the other two out, you can see that significant improvement in feature set, and that's due to the onboard sound chip. Uh, and also that's a quality improvement as well. So that should make our computer even more desirable to all these people who want to buy it. We need to design a new computer. We'll make that. We will go into design. We will copy the existing one. And it'll be our first computer of 1975. We might get enough research done in the rest of the year to produce another one, but I'm going to call it slash one anyway, just because I can. We did also research the joystick uh, towards the end of the last episode, so we can now add that in as an extra accessory. Our memory's improved. So we can add that in. Our CPU is now cheaper and slightly better. And the motherboard is again cheaper and significantly better in several key areas. I pressed the wrong button there, so double click that. There it goes. And our pricing, we can leave it like this. I'm just thinking we do have some poor people in our market, uh, uh, in our market segment now. So do we want to keep that discount the same? I'm still making $2,000 at the moment on in profit on that. So I think, yeah, we can, we can do that. That's fine. Marketing. We have learned from our previous model that prestige is important to our customers. So we'll bump that up. Uh, I don't think we need to improve the channel focus here. We're making enough money as it is. It might improve our sales, but... That, that's okay, I think, for the time being. Um, we'll go back to a small campaign to start with, but uh, we'll, we'll change, we can change that once the machine's been released. Uh, okay, so we now want to test it. Your new computer model went into the testing phase. Thank you very much. Now, while that's testing, let's uh, look at some other countries we can go into. Uh, don't want to go there with Kuwait. Uh, actually, I want to go into unused countries, uh, which are rich and poor. Um, we'll sort by population. Italy or South Korea. That could be good. We'll go to South Korea. We'll put a logistics point in there. I've got 1.4 left. Yugoslavia. Oh. That's interesting. It's not communist at the moment. Um, can we get... Oh, Iraq. I, I, so I'm worried about going to Iraq because that might change. <laughs> or was that Iran? Oh, we're going to go into Iraq. We're only spending logistics points, so if we lose those, it's not a huge financial loss to us. Oh, we found someone, have we? Uh, no, we haven't. Sorry, but I wasn't able to find a capable manager. Oh, thanks. That's me. Why, why am I telling myself I couldn't do it? That is not good. Oh, bother. Let's go back to the office. Back to... Oh, that doesn't click. <laughs> we'll use this button here. All right. So what do we want to do? Um... No, we're going we're gonna to do the hiring thing again. We, we need that. That's an active task, I think, isn't it? Uh, 156 days. We'll get that done before the year's out. Okay. I think I will increase my factory site here. Because although I may not need all that capacity in, in, the, long, in the sort of medium term, in this very short term, when my new computer is released, I will have huge demand. So I'll want to be able to take advantage of that while it's there. This is really good. Anyone else closing in on me? Your new computer no, model is stretching polished. far ahead. Ah, oh, this this is good. I'm making so much money. I like this. <laughs> I'm having trouble spending it, which is yep yeah, always been my problem. So our new computer is ready to go on the market. No one else has released a new computer just yet. This is interesting. So uh, how's it look? 
Oh, performance is... No, get in the date order. That's it. Performance is a little bit better. Capacity hasn't changed much. The other numbers are looking good. How's it compare? I am top dog. My only competition is myself in all these areas. This is excellent. So, uh, shall I wait till my factory is ready? I'm going to wait for my factory to be ready. And then I'll release it. So I, I've got all the capacity to take advantage of that s sudden surge of demand. How long is that factory going to take? It's nearly ready. Your building upgrade has completed. Excellent. I've now got five. Well, now I'm losing money because <laughs> I'm making machines I can't sell. That's going to change in a moment. So if we come here, we market our machine. Actually, if I stay on this page, say customers. Boom. Excellent. We're still not selling enough to cover our costs. But our factory will now stop producing. Our factory, oh no, because it's still trying to sell our old machine. So I'm getting marketing costs for this as well, aren't I? Yeah, so we'll archive you. There you go. Okay, my warehouse, my SPP is now full. My factory will now stop producing. Oh, my logistics manager has leveled up. Now that's excellent, so I'll give him another point in a moment. Uh, so yeah, we're making money. This is good. Nobody else has released a new computer, so let's have a look at Carlos. What skill should we give you? More logistics? I think that'd be good, won't it? Yeah, it's either espionage or logistics, but I think we'll take logistics. We'll do that. And does that give me any more logistics points? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Oh well, never mind. Ooh, uh, Forsha ship chips have released a new computer. How does that compare to mine? That's you, isn't it? It's cheap, but altogether a little bit rubbish. <laughs> cheap and great have released a new one. Uh, again, yeah, it doesn't. Ooh, doesn't really compare to mine at all. Oh, these these poor com these poor poor companies being run by people staffed by people who just don't know how to create great computers. Uh, okay, can I go to somewhere and build another logistics office? Uh, we've got Q8. Yeah, we'll build a level two office there. Then I can increase. Yeah, and I can increase my logistics in there. We've learned something new about marketing. What have we learned about our new computer? Uh, oh, ease of use is important at the moment. That's good. Uh, if I go a slightly bigger marketing campaign, that sells a few more computers. I make a bit more money. You have researched a new technology. And I now have compositor chips. So if we look at our research tree here, where's compositor chips? Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. So that, oh, that allows me to create a, a video card. I think, I think that does. So let's come here and create some new hardware. Yes, I've now got a GPU I can create. Excellent. So it could be a compositor, dip, heatsink, VSO, and that. So we're going to call this uh, the base clock. Actually, if I take the VLSI out, that's 87. So I'll allow myself to go up to 87 in cost more or less. So I'll add some more memory in. There we do. That will do nicely. Okay, so we've got a VDU now. So that's ready to go into our next computer, which we'll design in the next episode. Actually, let's look at the research queue. Which, uh, anything else that's coming out cheap? I don't think so. No, prices there haven't changed, so no one else is doing much research either by the look of it at the moment. We've got a new office in Q8, so I can increase logistics building there. That'll give me a couple more logistics points. You uh, have researched a new technology. I've got fax, another accessory. Excellent. So we will expand into more countries and sell more computers and finally produce a machine with a graphics card in the next episode of Computer Tycoon. In the meantime, thank you so much for joining me today for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. You know, click on that old thumbs up button 
always does the trick. Even better though, if you've got any thoughts about the way I'm playing the game or the game itself, if you've got any questions about why I'm doing what I'm doing or why I'm not doing certain things, please do just drop a note into the comments box below. That would be awesome. And of course, if you've not already subscribed Your to the channel, upgrade has completed. Thank you. If you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now, and that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But while we look at the wonder that is so many green parts of the world, I'll leave you for now. Until the next time, bye bye for now.